Hey everyone, welcome to High School Dropouts Advice. Today I would like you to learn how to work smarter, not harder. Please let me explain to you why working smarter will be better for you in the long run. You can imagine working smarter is like a parabolic graph and working harder is a linear graph. You can also imagine the phrase working smarter as like working with your mind open, being aware and being alert. Working smarter will be not just saving more of your energy and time, but also will increase your productivity in all aspects of your life. It will create new opportunities, for example, for promotions, pay raises, partnerships, corporations, and many more opportunities. What many people don't understand and realize, it will also improve your awareness of what is going on in your surrounding. It will be like giving you an X-ray vision so you can see the next opportunity when others can't. It's like being a guard dog. You are very alert of your surrounding, which will help you to achieve your dream. You might know people whose life look very easy. Every opportunity is like falling right in front of them. But let me tell you, those are 99% hard and smart workers who have the awareness, alertness and readiness to turn a chance into a life-changing opportunity. When you are smart and hard worker, you are always on the edge of what is known in your industry and you are on the edge of evolution. When you know all the knowledge, tricks, shortcuts and techniques, don't you think it's easier for you to realize what is next? From time to time, you see new companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple and other big and great companies popping up. Do you think their founder and CEOs are just lucky or were they already on the edge? of the evolution. But let's start with how you can work smarter. Let me tell you, you have to work on yourself to gain self-improvement and the self-improvement will allow you to work smarter. But before I mention why you need to work on yourself first and then you can work smarter, please subscribe to my channel right here and share this video with your loved ones so you can help me to get this message across. Because I want at the end of the day that you save the energy and time to enjoy life. So let me go back and tell you more about self-improvement. When you work, you should have the urge to get better. You want to be faster, then you want to be more efficient, then you want to improve the quality, then you want to increase the productivity. It does not really matter what you do in life, but you want to get better in everything you do. Become better than your yesterday. Self-improvement is a habit and it will translate into everything of your life. Once you improve in your work, you will naturally also want to improve your financials, your physical condition, your knowledge and also your spiritual condition. Let me explain to you. In the modern world, we are working around 8 to 10 hours a day. So we spend most of our time being productive, some more and some less. But I'm happy to see that you are a hard worker, otherwise you would not watch this video. But I would feel sad for you when you are not working smart, because then you are just wasting your energy and time. And the most important is you are wasting your potential. So to be more effective and increase your potential, you have to start working smarter. It can be by learning and practicing new techniques, using new skills, new tools, learning new knowledge, explore shortcuts and so much more. Every day when you work, I don't want you to do the things exactly like you did yesterday. I want you to change it up a little bit and try to do it a little bit faster, a little bit better, a little bit smarter. When you work in this way for 8 to 10 hours a day with your mind constantly thinking how to improve, then your brain will get used to this urge to get better and will translate this new routine into to a new habit which will affect other areas in your life so soon your brain will notice that your financial situation can be improved then your brain will also notice that your body get weak by working hard and smart then your brain will tell you to strengthen your body so your body can endure more hardship when my body felt tired after 12 to 14 hours of work in the sushi bar this is what I did in the past I went to the gym for additional two hours your body will get used to the hardship and later the 12 to 14 hours are nothing because your body's 
still thinks it has to go to the gym for additional two hours. Then you will also notice that you will hit some roadblocks or you will hit a cap where you think there's nothing to improve. But when you have the habit to improve yourself, you will look for a way to improve and most often it will be knowledge. Knowledge can be gained by observing how other successful people are working, by books, by teachers, masters and guides. Once you did all this, you will notice no matter what your profession is, that your profession becomes kind of spiritual. You might laugh now, it's not so easy for me to explain this, but you can see that many people who are working hard and smart, like martial artists, they have a spiritual understanding of what they are doing and they can translate it into their life. Maybe another word and description for this is that you have nurtured yourself into the next level where you are more awake, more aware of yourself and the world around you. It's really difficult for me to explain it to someone who did not reach this level of self-improvement and self-awareness yet, but I can tell you that you will find it. All you have to do is try to focus on yourself while you work and always think to yourself how to get better. Like in every moment, every thought and everything you do, how to get better. It will take you into like a meditational state where your work is just flowing. Maybe you know the term deep sleep. For me, that state is called deep work. In that state, you can start nurture your personality. What do I mean by that? For example, me working as a sushi chef, it can be very, very stressful. All the orders come in at the same time because you know, everyone gets hungry at the same time. So I have a lot of pressure, but you still need to be friendly and talk with your guests in front of you because they like to sit at the bar and talk with you. Then you have your employees coming to you and asking about the most irrelevant stuff uh, and things in the world. Then you have employees who need your help. In the toughest moment, this is when you nurture your personality. You can explode, you can scream, you can stop working, you can take a break, or you try to stay calm, try to tie up your explosion and use that stressful energy to focus harder and work faster. Be nicer to your customer in front of you, be nicer to your staff while answering their questions and then help them to do their job faster and then at the end do your job faster. Greatness is built on the hardest time when other people are breaking. This is the time when good get divided from great. Enjoy the hardest time because those times is when you become better. This is when you are conquering new ground. This is when you claim your limit to be your new status quo. This means you mastered today. Now tomorrow's challenge can come. I think all I describe will result that you will have a work ethic which is translated into all areas of your life. You will understand once you are working smarter that work is not just at your job that work is everywhere and you will understand by working smart that you are actually not working for others you are the one who work on becoming a better version of yourself i always tell my staff imagine my place like a gym you are coming here not to work for me you are working on yourself to be better and to achieve your aims when you become better when you got your new skills when you improve yourself then i'm happy to see that you could outgrow yourself. I'm happy to see that you will look for a better place to go or even open your own place and become your own boss. I think most bosses feel this way but many people just don't understand us. I have to say that most people think if they work smart and hard the only one who benefits is the boss but this is not true. The skills the improvement, your awareness and readiness for new opportunities, your improved mindset and your personal growth is all yours. I cannot take your gains, so don't hold yourself back. If you hold yourself back in work, you will also hold yourself back in your personal life. If you give your all in work, you will give your all in life. Another very important point I want to mention is that you should not compare yourself with your co-workers. They doesn't matter. Work means working on yourself. And really, you should see work as like going to the gym. Everything is for your personal gains. The harder you train, the bigger your personal gains. In the gym, you would not look at the guy next to you and think, I will live a little less so the guy next to me has to live a little heavier. No, 
just take the heavy weight and lift it. If your co-workers are lazy, then just do their work as well. It just make you harder, better, more efficient and increase your productivity. After a couple months, ask for a raise or promotion. And if you don't get one, then ask for a sick leave for a couple days and your boss will notice that nothing gets done without you and you will get the raise or promotion. But don't use this trick too often. You will get replaced one day by using this trick too often. No one like a light bulb which is unreliable. So please keep this in mind. In this part of the video, I want to tell you that I want you to have this work smart and hard attitude so you can be successful. For me, ultimate success means financial freedom. I want you to get there. But to get there, you have to do everything I told you before there is no shortcut. Everything starts with your mindset, your understanding of work and how you can translate everything into reality. To reach financial freedom, you have to live below your means to save money and invest. Don't just save money, but also invest it. You can also check out this video link up here and in the description below. Again, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your loved ones. In my channel, I talk a lot about investing into real estate or stocks like uh, this video I link up here is where I talk how you can become a millionaire within three years with real estate rentals. Lastly, I want to tell you that reading books is important and you should read books. Reading books are a shortcut in life. My parents told me when you are smart, you use other people's knowledge to be your knowledge. And if you're stupid, then you have to learn by experience. And I'm telling you, it takes way longer, no matter how smart you are, when you are not listening and learning from other people who already have achieved their aim. Achieving aims is like a destination. Someone who had been there can guide you on your way. So are books. They will give you the knowledge you need to get there where you want to be. Anyways, I really hope that you could understand why working smarter is so important. It will not just save your time and energy, but it will also translate in other fields of your life to improve your mindset and your new mindset will create a new and better life for yourself and your family. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so your way to financial freedom gets easier. Then also share this video with your loved ones. You don't want to be selfish and become successful yourself. It will be very lonely on the mountaintop. Many thanks. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Do you think they are founder and CA Oh, see, oh man, become better than your in that state.